Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today is Monday. Today is the 26th. And today is actually the day that my dog is having her surgery. She's actually probably in surgery right now. Um, so I decided I would just film really quick just to kind of keep my, my mind off of it for a little bit. <laughs> And um, I've prepared a little bit of what I was going to film anyway, but I didn't get to film over the weekend because of uh, we had like really bad weather come through. We had tornado uh, warnings, or whichever one was the worst. We had tornado stuff. We had thunderstorms. Uh, a bunch of stuff was happening. I'm sure it wasn't just here in Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> But, uh, so I couldn't film yesterday, and then I had a migraine Friday and Saturday, which was great. <laughs> what, well, it wasn't a migraine the whole time, it just kind of progressed into. So anyway, I couldn't really film, so I tried to prepare, and here we are. So kind of like this last video that I did, where I just, if you hadn't seen this last video, I will link it, or link it, I'll put it in the cards right here. Um, it didn't get a lot of views, and it, it, I posted it at a weird time, and it was just a really quick, um, what I call it, a something mess. Let me see. Unorganized mess. Sometimes you just have to push through. <laughs> That's what I call it. So if you didn't get to see it, I just built a, I just built the base of a, of a page, like a set. Not a set. What is this? This is a layout, kind of. Um, where we did this flip pocket page and this flips out and then there's a belly band um, and that's all I did Whoops. Oh, we did like a little cutout here, which I still haven't done anything with and then uh, we made this little booklet this kind of reverse waterfall photo mat booklet for an insert and then just a regular insert there that I haven't finished up that either but um, I anyway I was playing with the insides so first let me just tell you this is this is called the enchanted plant department because we're using the plant department paper collection all of that stuff is linked down below there's a whole video playlist for this album it starts from beginning to end you can watch that I'll link that up here so if you ever get lost or you miss an episode or two you can always go back to that playlist and see they'll be in order so you'll be able to see exactly um, which videos you've watched and which ones you may have missed. So I've already got most everything prepared that I'm going to do in the video today because honestly, oops, I think you're I just wanted to, I wanted to kind of make a quick video so that I could edit it really quick and get it up for you today. So that's kind of what I'm doing. So let's see. I'm just going to open this all the way up and we'll just, we'll just go from there. I did go ahead and print out the mat and the flower background, the mat for the main base page 7A. I went ahead and printed that onto, everything's on cardstock except for the photo, some of the photo mats and I'll tell you which ones are on paper. And I'm just going to mat it with the flower background design. So I'm going to grab some glue. It's already inked up. It's on 80 pound white cardstock. Oops. And I'm just going to use some fabri -Tac and I'm going to attach this down under that fun enchanted belly band. I just think it's a pretty shape, you know, looks like balls or a vase or whatever. It doesn't matter which way this goes, there isn't really a direction. So whatever you like the best. I have to tell you all a funny story. It's not funny. It's just, it's not funny. I mean, it bless her heart. When I took her to the vet this morning, Sophie, she, um, she was fine. She was kind of a, she was kind of happy. She likes to go and she likes to, she likes to, um, see people and she likes to go for car rides and stuff like that. Well, she, <laughs> 
and she was fine so we checked in and and we we talked to the ladies in the front and then we went and sat down and she you know she was a little nervous you could tell she wasn't real super excited about being there I mean she was a little bit nervous but not not too too bad I mean she's you know she's like okay what are we doing I don't know obviously she didn't know she was there for surgery and she was fine I think I even took a, a quick little video let me see if I can let me see if I sh can show you. Okay, I'll show you really quick. Um, so she had a grooming appointment last week and they cut all of her ear hair off because uh, the, the thing she's got on her neck was causing her, she had really long hair on her ears, you know, typical poodle ears where they're really long and fluffy. So they shaved them all off so that, uh, cause it was kind of getting matted because of that thing around her neck. And you know, of course it's gonna get in the way after surgery as well because the thing's gonna be on her neck. So we didn't want it to, to cause any more issues. So we okayed her cutting her ear hair off. But anyway, let me scoot you in. So she looks kind of a little funny anyway. But here, I'll play a little video. Let me scoot you in a little closer of her. <laughs> Bless her heart. <laughs> Bless her heart. She's like, oh, okay, what are we doing? Okay, okay. She was, she wouldn't sit down. Well, anyway. So then she, she, Got nervous enough to where she pooped. So I had to clean it. Oh shoot, my battery, my battery already flashing. Hang on. Okay, so I had to change my battery real quick. So, so she was totally fine. She just was a little nervous. She was just kind of like, I'm not sure what's happening. So she got nervous enough to where she pooped. And she does that sometimes. I don't know what triggers it. She does it sometimes um, when she first gets into the building and then that we had already been in there. So we were sitting and waiting and then all of a sudden she got nervous and she pooped. So I got up to go get the stuff to clean it up with. And she was like, okay. So she went, she, we were, it ended up being close to the door to leave and she went to that door, sat on, or didn't even sit, stood on that rug to the door that goes out and would not move. She was like, nope, I'm ready to go. I'm done. That was fun. See you later. <laughs> she was ready to go. She would not move. So luckily the, the nurse, uh, I don't know what they're called. She's a, the person that comes out to help you, um, to take the dog back for surgery or to, to IVs or whatever. What, I don't know, a technician? I don't know what that's called. I don't know what that person was called. Well, anyway, she came out right then and she was talking to me and I said she she thought we were leaving. She pooped and I was trying to clean it up and she thought we were leaving so she, she, won't, she won't come. And that tube thingy that's on her neck, she's lost so much weight uh, in the past couple weeks that it, their collar keeps sliding off so she could have literally just come right out of that thing <laughs> so luckily the the lady had something else that she could put around her so that she wouldn't get loose but anyway so Sophie was not wanting to stay she did eventually go with her but it just I broke my heart it just it it just broke my heart I walked out and I just had tears in my eyes I just couldn't I couldn't take it <laughs> so anyway I, I just felt so icky leaving her there for this, you know, but I'm just, I'm just hoping that everything goes all right. And they said that they'll call me later. It's not something you stay the night over. So they'll call me later and we can go pick her up hopefully. So anyway, so she should be in surgery right now. Dang, my phone is dirty. I'm sorry. I hope it didn't look too bad on screen. So hopefully all is going well. So let's just get, let's go ahead and do the stuff here that I have prepped. And I will give you guys an update on her um, as soon as I can. Okay. And thank you all so much for uh, sending me your prayers and your thoughts and your well wishes. And 
um, for thinking about us. And yeah, thank you. Thank you all so much for that. I appreciate it very much. It's they, I mean, she's 13 years old. We've had her since she was six weeks old. She's, she is a member of my family. <laughs> so anyway, see, I'm just getting teary eyed talking about it. <laughs> okay. All right. So we got this matted. And then, okay, let me show you. I want to show you. I kept all my pieces. Sorry, I've got my back to you for a second. So I could show you what I did. So for this here, this is a piece that we used on the front cover. And what I did, I was looking at it going, you know what? This doesn't really look like it's like a direction, even though there's writing on there and you can see it right there, but it doesn't really make that big of a difference. I don't think it like is shocking or anything. So this piece was here and I traced it. I traced it out and looked at it for a minute and I was like, yeah, that'll work. So that way I can still use this whole big piece over here for something else in the album. Um, it's a big enough piece that I, you know, I can use it um, um, for any, any number of pages. So I, I liked the idea of grabbing the top of that. So look how pretty that looks. I think it looks pretty. I guess I could scooch you in just a little bit. Again, I don't have my normal setup going um, currently, but I think it's okay. Is, are you guys okay with it? I think it's okay. Just for a few videos here, I just can't seem to, I just can't, can't, can't seem to get myself together, <laughs> to, to be honest. Let's see, and then, don't think you'll get to see that. You won't see that, I mean, I'm gonna have to erase it. So this was, I used the mat for this belly band here. The belly band is on page 26D, I believe. Okay, now my nose is red and I can't keep to, I can't seem to. <laughs> okay, so that's that. We're done with that. So then the next thing I, I looked at was, matting this part over here and I liked this pink and if you remember from one of the earlier videos this pink is kind of the in what the way my printer prints anyway the pastel the vintage or the pastel uh, vintage collage and pink uh, goes really well with this pink on this paper the way my printer prints so I took this page I printed it twice on to white cardstock. So here's what the page looks like. This is all, all the, the printables that I'm using are listed uh, in the collections list that I have down in the description box. I'll probably put it in the first pinned comment as well. So this one is the pastel pink, uh, if you wanna check it out. So I printed it twice onto cardstock. I printed the mat for that and then cut it out, inked it up. There's the one. Well, then I got to thinking about how I did this little fussy cut area right here that I still haven't done anything with. Then I got to thinking about, well, this is a good spot for that. But since it's a printable, I can just print it out again and I could cut that part out that I want to be the pocket and I can just layer it right over top and it's a little bit more solid, a little bit more sturdy that way. So that's what I was thinking for here. So, and these are the two identical <laughs> pieces. I just traced them both out on the exact same area and cut them out, ink them up, and we're good to go. So I am going to glue these down now. And I don't think I'm going to glue the curved area. So that way, if I want to put something in there that's bigger than this pocket, it could stick out and it'd be all right. Just giving myself some options. So the other piece, did I show you that? The piece that I cut off of it? There it is right there. So 
there's that right there. <laughs> I was just real careful when I was trimming it out. Just, I don't know. It really wasn't that crucial though, to be honest, but it still looks good. Okay, then I have, this is from the journaling spots, the journaling spots set one. This is not, they don't come in here, but there's, you know, there's, there's tags and then there's these that look like they have tape. There's different sizes. They, they look like they have tape. These are like little Polaroid ones. Here's a fun shape. There is one that looks like a wax seal. Then, is that it? Yeah, that's it. This one I printed onto one of my shades of color, I think. Um, I'll, I'll, I don't think they're in the collections list, so I'll have to add them in, but we're going to be using two of them today. So this is just one of the smaller sizes and it's got tape on either end. And I was going to put this on here and this is from the ephemera pack. And I trimmed out more of the edge cause you know, sometimes they have too much of the white and that, that's totally personal preference. You guys don't have to do that if you don't want. So I trimmed out a little bit more and I inked it up. I just thought it would be a good little or a cute little, maybe even overlapping some, maybe, maybe like that. Or do you, what do you think? I kind of like that. Let's do that. So I'm going to, actually what I could do too is I could just make this, I could glue it on the top here. Every time I see my phone flash, I think, I think, uh, I worry that it's a call from the, from the vet. <laughs> and then maybe we could have it as like a little tuck, like if we wanted to tuck something under there. But it says one of a kind on there. I just thought it was a cute little embellishment cluster. I feel like I need one more thing, but that's as far as I got so far. And then on this side, I took one, the other 4x6 photo mat that we didn't use. Did we use? Yeah, because we had one left over from the two sheets that we printed. Let me stamp this really quick with my 4x6 stamp from the stamp set. I'm going to do that some more, so I'm going to set that aside. So I thought it would be cute to have this this here on this side. So this is also from the embellishment pack for the, for the collection. I thought that would be cute, but I felt like it needed one more thing behind the peacock. So I grabbed one of my circle labels. So I printed this out so I could show you that this is the green color. And, and there's two different ways you could have the circle labels. One is the circle labels um, on their own. So there's like a circle label, there's a rectangle label, there's a square label. Um, there's one that has photo corners. So I have them separated out uh, if you want it to just get certain shapes. But then I also have in the Basically Amazing add-on scrap journal, there's a, there's a set of circle labels, square labels, rectangle labels, different label, different colors. So either way you want to go, this circle label is in both. So you could use either one. So if you have the add-on scrap journal, then you have the circle labels. If you bought the circle labels by themselves, then you have the circle labels. But I just wanted to show you. So I thought it would look really cute behind the peacock's head somehow. Something like that maybe or something like that. That looks good. What do you think? I think we're going to go for it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Fabri-Tac and I'm going to I'm going to glue down this. I'm just going to go around the edges. This is on 28 pound paper. You could use really cheap, 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 cheap copy paper Whoops. if you wanted to because the whole point of these photo mats is you're supposed to use them as placeholders, right? Let me move that. And 
then you're supposed to add your photo right over top. So you need it thin so that it's not too bulky. And I'm gonna put glue. I think this is just on cardstock. It might have been on sticker paper. I don't remember because you know I've got a, a ton of them already printed. I don't know where that's supposed to go. Already printed out. I'll show you in just a sec. That looks pretty good. Okay, where am I going to put the glue? On the tail over here. And let me put some on that noggin. You want to be able to get your picture up under there. Isn't that cute? I thought it was pretty cute. I didn't think I would like the peacock. I didn't think I would use it, but it's cute. All right, let me show you. So this was an ephemera keeper that I made using the uh, basically amazing add on scrap journal, right? So I have a whole section here uh, of labels. So I've got some rectangle, I've got the I've got the square, I've got a bunch of circles and different sizes, right? So this circle, you can use the circle punch, which I don't know if a lot of you guys know that. It, what size is this? Is it a two and a half? Yeah, this is a two and a half inch circle. So the circles that are in the specific um, printable that is the circle labels, they correspond to paper punches. So. It makes it easier for you to punch out because I know that that um, I'm not good at cutting a circle. <laughs> so that's one thing good about having this specific uh, a set of printables that is just the circle labels. So the circle labels, that, again, they come in different sizes and stuff. Then there's the rectangle labels. There's the ones that have like the photo corners. I've printed this printable paper first. The, there's black and, there's black and white ones in these dedicated specific printables, not the ones that come with the scrap journal. These were printed on sticker paper, so I just used it, you know, to put the labels on there, so they're quick and easy to grab. Like I could have grabbed one of these, you know, and used it. Um, I'm not sure why. Oh, this was just showing me the different sizes. Uh, one day I needed to, sh to to figure out which ones had which sizes. <laughs> Anywho, uh, there's the square, right? There's the rectangles and different sizes. So anyway, so that's where I've got a bunch of them printed off, and I guess I need to add those two that I printed off to show you guys into there as well. So that's cute. I like the way that turned out. That's just is really sweet and simple and, and I like it. Okay, so the next thing I've got prepped and it's probably the last thing is the insert for here. Um, I just got one insert ready. So here's what I did. I printed, this is a uh, from the uh, Photomats Essentials. This is a five by seven photo mat. You could also, if you have the add-on, the Basically Amazing add-on photo mats, they, um, there are two, two different pages that look like this. One of them have more of a patinaed photo corner and these have more of a brownish, you know, vintage photo corner, corner look. So whichever one you have, uh, this just happens to be from the Essentials. So I printed this onto cardstock, I trimmed all the way around, and then I folded it in half. And I just wanna give it a good burnish really quick. And then I inked this inside up because I'm gonna put photo mats here. But on this side, I took and I cut two pieces of five by seven, or into five by seven um, separate pieces. And I, I took one of the card stocks from the paper collection and I cut two five by seven uh, size mats out, right? And I inked them up. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my photo corner chomper. This is the We Are Memory Keepers photo corner. It's got a photo and an angle. And I'm going to chomp the corners so that it'll fit nicely into the photo corners. So, I've already inked it up, but I'm going to have to ink it up again really quick, and that's fine. And 
do this one. So I did the front and the back the same. Well, that one doesn't look like I did it straight. Let me double check. Yep, yep, it did. So they'll fit, now they'll fit perfectly in that space. And it looks like you have actual photo corners there. So, I'm gonna ink these up really quick. And then we're gonna glue it down. just looks so cool. Don't you think that looks so cool? Give me a thumbs up if you think that looks cool. I don't know why I had to demonstrate how to do a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna close that. And so I did, this is another one of the uh, journaling spots, the ephemera journal spots. And I don't remember showing you. So I, these are the other two. So this one, Looks like that. I guess I just skipped right over this page. And again, there's different sizes. So there's the largest one. And then this is the kind of like the medium size. But I thought that would go good right there. And for whatever reason, I thought I had something that went there, but I don't guess I do. Okay. So I'm going to glue that down. I thought I was going to put something there. So maybe I was rethinking that and that's okay. I can come back to it. These are printed just on regular, like, not regular. These are, this is printed on 28 pound paper. And I'm just going to find the center. So now it's turned into like a little booklet, which I think is so cute. Okay, so on the inside, I'm just going to put two photo mats. I had printed these off thinking I was going to do something else. I don't think... Oh, yeah, I guess they could. We could do it like that. Do you want to do it like that? Let's do it like that. So we have options. So three by fours and a four by six. So I'm going to put these oh, these aside because I was going to do two, two um, four by sixes. So let me go ahead and stamp those. those down. Okay, so we could definitely come back and add a little bit more embellishing on here, like a title or words or a label or something but for right now I'm just gonna did I just make that crooked I'm just gonna leave it as it I did I got a little heavy-handed on my inking too that's a little crazy but that's okay it's okay right you guys don't mind okay all right so that is gonna go right here so I'm feeling like, I guess it could too go here. Oh, what am I hitting? I don't know, I'm hitting something. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm hitting the, the end. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm hitting. Okay, I mean, it could go there, but I feel like I'm gonna use a different photo mat there. But for now, this is what we're gonna put in there. And then I think that's all, that's all we're gonna do right now. I think that's all, now that I'm looking at it though, I mean, I like it, I like it a lot, but I'm thinking it might look better over here. Well, I might just end up leaving it, we'll see. Guys, let me know what you think. Should it be in this little pocket over here or should it be under the belly band? Leave me, leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. 
All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little bit that I had. <laughs> hope at least gave you a little bit of an idea or some ideas to do in your album. And don't forget to check out the description box. Don't forget to uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these videos and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.